Did anyone else notice the enormous shift between millennial and Gen Z men? Uh, specifically the men. It's when it comes to dating and I try to date someone my age, which is 34, I might as well be dating somebody that's 15. I try to go a little bit older, try to date somebody that's 45. They don't have time. They've got kids from way back when. They've got a job. They work constantly to pay child support. But it's the opposite with 35-year-old guys. They're full of time, have no money, have no ambition, don't want to don't want to take care of a woman, believe that women should be equal partners and they want 50-50 relationships. There is like no middle ground for men that I want. Like the ideal man who would actually want to have a family, you know, support like a housewife type of situation. Um, those are just completely non-existent. And if I'm in a situation where, um, I have to pay bills, I would rather live alone than live with a man. So unless, like, a, a good man that wants to provide for a family comes into my life, I'm gonna be chronically single until I'm dead. I am noticing why. I don't think it's because I'm not a quality person. Um, I think it is because... The men are not quality people. And when it comes down to it, there are way more quality women in this world than there are quality men. And it's become, it's because of the propaganda and the brainwashing from video games, music, violence on television, um, all that shit has led to this perpetual teenage male that has been like totally coddled by their mothers their entire lives. And they have no expectations, no ambition for growth. It's, it's really frustrating because, you know, these psychological operations that happen in the dark have really taken away our ability to ever have any kind of, like, family happiness or human happiness um, in that regard, like we are meant to have, simply because they have taken away our quality partners. That is what we're, we're talking about, right? This below average women, right? She's below average, period, is having high standards, right? Being a housewife in this day and age is a luxury, a luxury most women won't see, right? Here's a woman saying that she wants to date someone her own age, marry someone her own age, that could fully provide for her so she could be a housewife what would the man get in return, right? Because if a man can provide for a woman fully enough for her to be stay home, he can have a better looking woman, right? She doesn't seem like she has that great of a personality. She seems like she's a very entitled woman, right? Which is ridiculous, right? Here's a woman also saying that like, there's no quality men out there. No, she she's confused because there's no quality men that want her. Right? There's plenty of quality men out there. But what are they getting? It's like she's she's not something uh, that's worth, you know. The, she does not deserve a, a high-value man, right? Let alone a middle-class man. You don't. Because how, you, in one day, you are, your attitude is so insulting to men, right? Because she said... If she if she has to pay the bills, if she has to pay for her living expenses, she might as well be herself. Well, well, she seems like a drain on society, right? She seems like she would be a drain on men. That's she's very self entitled. So what are they getting? Attitude. She looks pretty fat, you know, and she's not cute fat, you know, and she's what mid thirties. It's like okay, if you if this is what you wanted, you should have done it in your early 20s but no she just she's definitely not a virgin I, I doubt that so this is what quality men would get so you tell me is this woman worth your sacrifice in life that you went through working so hard to get to the position that you have is she worth it I'm doubting that right but you tell me is this woman, would you marry this woman and make her a housewife and you pay all the bills? 
because I don't know what you're getting. I don't, she, she, she could say what she thinks are quality men, but never once did she say, what do men get in return? What do we get in return? I mean, come on. This is why, this is what men are dealing with. Average women, well, in this case, below average women, right? With high expectations, right? This is, that's, that's what, this is what we're talking about. You know, a woman with just an inflated ego. And it's, this is because society, society is doing this to women, right? It's not about partnership because she'll be lucky if she get a partnership. She'll be lucky if she gets someone who 50-50 with her, you know? Because it's like, I, you know what? I, I can't see it. Unless you get a very below average man. So, I don't know. You tell me. Would you? Would, would you? Would you meet this woman a housewife? You tell me. Should they? Should they go fifty-fifty? Well, I believe personally, if a man is trying to get to know you, he has to wow you at first. Like you want to win the prize. I'm the prize. You think so? Once you've what? Yes. Why are you the prize? Because if if a guy wants me. He's got to show me that he you wants me. You don't want me. him? No, 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 but I'm saying he has to show you interest. <laughs> yeah, I know, but no? you don't, you want him though? Yeah. Yeah, but... so why are you the prize? Because he wants me, like he wants me more than no, I but... want him. Ah, more so you want to, oh, so you want to get with a guy who wants you more than you want of him? Of course. No, right, of right, course. Right. And how do you think that turns out? Well, in the long term, it, it just... like if, if, well, if you, if, if he loves you more than you love him, do you think you're more likely to leave? No, because I could grow to love him <laughs> more. I hate to be that guy. I could grow I, to love I, I, him more, you know? And you think that's the right mindset to have? Like, oh. to, to get a guy who loves you or likes you more than you like him. So you want to be chased. You want him to wow yeah. you, blah, 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 all that yeah. kind of stuff. And then what are you doing for him? Once he's proven to me that he's worthy of my energy, then he'll be getting the same energy <laughs> what? back. Well, all right. So this is great because this is final thoughts. But why, why, does he, why does he have to prove to you and you don't have to prove to him? No, I will prove to him. He said I wasn't going to prove to him. I just want to see that he's worthy of, of me proving to him and that why, why are you so and why are you so great way. why are you so great w like you say worthy of me as if you're like this queen or something like why of course, are you so great like everyone has their own different personality everyone has their own like i'm i'm probably like he probably sees something in me that he doesn't see in any other girl <laughs> <laughs> so you see when i was saying that most women <laughs> choose like 20 percent of men mm -hmm. right do you think that he hasn't seen what you've got is what you're saying? Like he hasn't seen, like in all his life, he's never seen someone like you. Well, as I said, traits. There's like different traits that women have. So maybe there's something that he sees in me that he hasn't seen in another woman. Hmm. You know, I saw this video where this guy was saying that one of the difference, biggest difference between men of the past and men now is that men have come to realizations that they are the prize, right? Especially the type of men that are traditional. The type of men that, you know, will take care of a woman, right? Provide for a woman, right? Protect a woman. And he's a decent man, right? Not abusive, not, you know, just a really nice guy, but also, you know, has his um, responsibilities in order, right? They realize that they are the prize, right? Because that's what all women want. Okay, no longer do we feel like we are trying to chase the prize because men value themselves more now, right? They may not, you know, come out lucky that they find a woman, but you know what? Men have more self-esteem than ever, I believe, right? That they think and feel that they deserve better because if they're going to provide what every woman demands a man to provide, then they deserve to know that they are what's wanted. They are the prize, right? That that they are no longer going to be used and abused, right? And think that, you know, that they should uh, bend over backwards for someone who really don't care about them. Here's another woman, right? Who's 
she's cute i guess but still very average that she still thinks that a man should come in to prove himself to her prove yourself to her? i mean come on it's like and no one mentioned that really what what would she do for a man you have to prove yourself to her that's that's why a lot of women say that oh i'm only feminine for the the right man how would you know so you're going to be masculine you're going to do nothing for a man until he proves you proves to you that he's worthy of it that's just like that's what we deserve now that's what men deserve right that we won't get nothing until we prove ourselves it's like that's just ridiculous see i think that some women they devalue how much effort men put in the beginning of a relationship because it's just weird right relationship is weird in that sense that i believe men put so much effort into the beginning of the relationship to get a woman and then they may kind of drop off towards the end while women put in practically nothing in the beginning and then ramp up so it's like it's <clears throat> it's such a weird dynamic but I see, I, it seems like that's probably a fallacy that's probably like the problem with relationships where you know men feel like they put so much in it right and then later on they're, they're tired right while women by that time they're, that they're tired women have been putting so much into the relationship you know that um, now they feel like it's the off balance I don't know what to say it's always an off balance right where men feel like they're putting so much into it in the beginning and they're getting really nothing in return. Well, you know, towards, I don't, I'm not saying the end, but you know, later in the relationship, they put less while the woman feels this that same feeling. It's a um, weird dynamic that I don't know what to, I don't know. I mean, it would be nice, right? Is that, that's, I think maybe that's the thing. If both people could put the same amount of effort or like put all the effort, throughout the relationship, throughout the process, right? But it won't be because women always want men to put so much effort in the beginning of a relationship, but they also expect that effort to continue throughout. That's, that, that's, that's the, I think that's the problem, right? That they don't understand that that's, that's not fair, right? And that's, that's unrealistic. You put so much effort in the beginning to get somebody. And now once you got them, that's when they start putting the effort in. But then they expect you to continue that effort. I think it's pretty crazy. That's the thing, right? I feel like that's the problem that many relationships have, right? And I think that that's the problem that we don't try to rectify, right? The imbalance that relationships have, really that someone's giving a hundred percent of themselves throughout the relationship both parties so there's always one time where see that's why if men feel like they're putting a hundred percent of themselves at the beginning and only getting 20 50 maybe at the end uh, like later on they're gonna pull themselves back because they're tired and same thing with women right women putting like you know like i said 20 50 percent in the beginning and then putting a hundred percent they're gonna be upset that they're getting, you know, like uh, the man who's now giving 20, 50%, you know, they will be upset. Uh, that is the problem that I believe many relationships are facing. And I, I hope it changes. I believe because I think that is a good realization, but I think most people don't realize it that, you know, you're not putting it an equal effort. So men, that's how men respond. About once they have you, they're not going to put on equal effort anymore because I guess they're making up for the time that they put in 100% and you only put in like 50%. So, you know, that may be a fruitful thought.